Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Azza8585 and as always I'm bringing you a Forza Motorsport 7 tuning video today. And as always guys, this is the channel on YouTube which provides you tuning videos, good quality races, good content and all in all a good laugh and a good community to get involved with. So if you do want to get involved, please subscribe to the channel it doesn't take too long to do so just click the big red button it helps me a lot and hopefully it will help you in the future and kicking things off guys we are in the conversions as always we're going to start with the conversions this car is got the 6.2 liter v8 engine in the 6.2 liter v8 engine absolutely launches it down the straight it's super super quick in a straight line the only thing i don't like about it is it's got six gears and don't get me wrong it's not a game changer it doesn't mean that i'm not going to use the car just because it's got six gears the reason that i don't really like it that much is because when you're coming out of these tighter corners these chicanes you're a bit uncertain whether to use third or fourth gear but sometimes because you're in third gear or even second gear sometimes second gear just promotes a bit more oversteer because the higher in the revs but understeer does kind of sometimes kick in when you're running third gear so it's it's kind of hit and miss you know you've got to fight fire with fire in this i'm afraid and as always guys this is my personal preference on tuning for me it's the most well balanced car and setup that i can get for the 370z i think it's got good handling good braking good acceleration and a great little bit of top speed to you know propel you down the straight here's a little clip of me going around the outside of some I think it's one of the old Fair Lady Nissans. Um, I don't know what happened there. Whether he, he just thought, you know what, I'm not having this, or it was a sheer, you know, a complete accident. You know, we'll never know. But uh, looks like I got the four star. I turned into him from way behind and spun him out. So. So guys, we're moving on to the uh, drivetrain side of things. Everything is predominantly stock on this, um, other than the drive line. I do believe it is a race drive line. Yep, a race drive line there, and obviously a race differential. There are two things that you realistically need on, you know, whenever you're tuning cars. The reason being the drive line. You can shave maybe 10, 50, even 20 pounds off the weight of the car, and it'll only take sometimes. It'll only take one or even zero off the actual PI rating of the car so it's the easiest way to shed weight and not actually gain any PI index um, thus making your car lighter thus in theory making it quicker around the track so guys I'm looking to do this in pretty much all of my videos now if there's any new subscribers any comments or anyone who's even asking just for shout outs they've got tunes paint jobs etc leave it in the comment section below and what I'll do is I'll just mention your name mention any tunes that you've got and whatever's going to be beneficial for you know for the views and the community so we're going to start this one off by a um he's been a long time subscriber i do believe and you know he, do, he has left a comment on the previous video saying big shout out as a my top youtube fan uh hebrew boy i think it's i think his game tag is actually hrc hebrew boy i've raced against him a few times in a class and the guy's quality to be fair he's a good little racer very quick very clean and uh, you know if you do come against him in the lobbies try and keep up with him <laughs> try and keep up with him he's a quick quick dude and um and the other shout out goes to my thousandth subscriber james hayden or hayden i do believe thank you for the subscription my brother really appreciate it you got me into four digits nice one mate really really appreciate that and now we're on to the engine side of things guys before we get into the fine tuning side of things if you haven't already please leave a like and a comment um, and obviously if you're not part of the uh, the Azure 85 crew please do subscribe and yeah just a bit of information about me and my personal life right now me and my girlfriend are currently in the process of buying a, uh, a brand new house um, we're looking to start living together and you know we're it's kind of stressful it's well it's very stressful to be fair if any one of you have bought a house or understand or recently moved house with the parents etc you kind of know how stressful it is so we're kind of in the in the process of buying a brand new home and realistically as soon as that's completed it's going to be a lot more content a lot better quality and just more videos and tunes for you guys to use and absolutely smash Forza Boats book 7 until Forza 8 comes and then it, there's going to be even more guys and you know it so yeah boys last few clips here just two little overtakes um, there's one there on a an old I think it was a Ford Mustang I think or a Chevy Camaro or something or other some old car and then there was obviously that was the Shelby 427 Cobra I think it is 
Starting things off, guys, we're on the tyre pressure, 29.5, 29.5. This just kind of what I thought was a bit more helpful to me, made the car a bit more responsive. Camber, negative 1.5 on the front, negative 1.2. Rear, zero, zero, toe, and the cast is quite high. Um, I don't know, it just felt right when I was driving it. My lap time decreased when I increased it, so... Anti roll bars, it's not too stiff there. 14, 6, 7, and 16.25. Um, front and rear springs are there on screen. The front is softer than the rear. The reason being, I just, I just prefer to promote oversteer. I think it's easier to control for me. Um, so that's the reason why I do that. Rebound, it's pretty much level on the rebound front and rear, and the bump, the rear is actually greater than the front. And the, there the air aero, maxed out, personal preference, likewise his brake, likewise his axle and decel, but I've set the axle quite low as you'll see. Rounding things off guys, I'm actually thinking about doing a uh, tuning video on dampers. I know a lot of people do get confused with dampers, how they work and how they actually help weight transfer. So what I'm going to do guys, if you're okay with it, I'm actually going to try and record, do and show you the ins and outs of dampers, how they work and how I tune them, especially for I do a bit of racing with cars. So that's kind of where my tuning knowledge has come from. So yeah, if you do want to see that guys, please let me know down below in the comments. Please like, comment and subscribe. And as always, boys, I've been your boy, Azar85. Stay tuned for more.